This presentation is a primer rhythm and um, consists of two sculptures. Um, one is uh, it's called Sampira, and which is already installed in Miyako Island of Okinawa in Japan. And then these are digital rendering of how it will look like in the future. I'm Mariko Mori and uh, today I would like to um, share uh, my new project Journey to Seven Light Bay. The first part is to show how people can travel um, to the Seven Light Bay and um, so you see it's in Okinawa Island and where this is the Seven Light Bay and um, this is from Google Earth and turning to the model which you can see the sun pillar is going to cast a shadow onto the moonstone. I imagine this as kind of marriage of sun and moon and also this is very much related to the winter solstice light. The next sub chapter it's a winter solstice time so when the sun actually come down and on top of the sun pillar and then how the cast shadow onto the moonstone it's only happened like this uh, during the winter solstice next chapter it's you can see how moonstone is going to change the color according to the tide when high tide will be turning to blue and when it's low tide it's turning to red the inspiration is kind of came from the sea, how sea it's like a kind of um, uh, has a rhythm of uh, kind of feels like a, a breathing in and in and out. So that's why it's called primal rhythm. It's like a rhythm of the nature and uh, uh, also wanted to emphasize we are part of nature. Because of the remote place, the uh, pristine nature is well preserved. But um, not often you have a chance to actually visit. It's quite far away, especially from US or from Europe. Europe. So the Adobe um, Museum actually allowing us to visit virtually um, to see what how experience we like and. It seems to me it's worked quite well with the uh, Adobe Museum could accommodate how I was uh, visualized this project. I was able to install sun pillar but not quite yet was in, installed moonstone so it was quite a uh, uh, best way to uh, share the idea, complete idea to the broader audience. Primarism is that I wanted to create the work to actually gift to the nature and um, particularly I was uh, spending a lot of time in Okinawa doing some drawings for last um, since 2003 and I received many inspirations and um, uh, I wanted to kind of uh, give back as a gift to the nature. I form a foundation called Fur Foundation and our uh, mission is to create installation like this per continent. So this uh, project is actually representing Asia and I'm starting a next project in uh, South America in Brazil and we hope to connect all the continent together. 